Emma Philipoff, born January 6, 1986, is a Canadian woman who has been missing since November 28, 2012, vanishing from in front of the Empress Hotel in Victoria, British Columbia, at the age of 26. Disappearance Emma Philipoff was last seen in the immediate vicinity of the Empress Hotel in Victoria between 7.15 p.m. and 8 p.m. on November 28, 2012. She was observed being interviewed by Victoria Police. Her red 1993 Mazda MPV was found in the Chateau Victoria parking lot with almost all her belongings in it, including her passport, library card, digital camera, clothes, a pillow, assorted ornaments, laptop, and recently borrowed library books. It is believed she used the van as storage. She spoke with Chateau Victoria staff at 7 a.m. on the morning of her disappearance. In June 2018, a man reported that in the early morning following Philipoff's disappearance, he had picked up a young woman in distress matching her description in nearby Esquimalt. Timeline Pre disappearance, Philipoff arrived in Victoria in the fall of 2011 from Perth, Ontario. She had brief employment at the Redfish Bluefish Seafood Restaurant in Victoria's Inner Harbour. Since the work was seasonal, Philipoff left the job on October 31, 2012. She assured co workers she would be back in the spring. In what police believe was preparation to move back to Ontario. Philipoff hired a tow truck on November 21. She rented the truck in order to move her Mazda from Sook to the Chateau Victoria parking garage. Unbeknownst to her family, Philipoff had stayed at the Sandy Merriman House Women's Shelter on and off since February. On November 23, Philipoff was captured on security footage at the Victoria YMCA, entering, then leaving then entering multiple times as if possibly avoiding someone on the outside. In the days preceding her disappearance, Philipoff had phoned her mother in Ontario, asking if she could come home. Each time her tone would quickly change and Emma would then ask her mother not to come. On the final call, her mother became aware that Emma had been staying at the Sandy Merriman house, and even though Emma had asked her not to come, she made plans to fly out immediately. Emma's last words to her mom were, I don't know how I can face you. Emma's mother arrived at Sandy Merriman House at about 11 p.m. on the 28th, three hours after Emma had been last seen by police at the Empress Hotel. Early on the day of November 28, Philipoff had been captured on a 7 Eleven store video on Government Street purchasing a prepaid cell phone. The video showed her hesitating in departing the store, seemingly checking the street outside. She returned to the 7-Eleven to buy a prepaid credit card for $200. Reportedly, she left the Sandy Merriman house at about 6 p.m. that day. Soon after, she hailed the taxi and asked to be taken to the Victoria International Airport. However, she soon exited the taxi for lack of adequate fare. Even though she had the $200 prepaid card. Minutes later, Philipoff was seen walking barefoot in front of the Empress Hotel. An acquaintance of hers, Dennis Key, called 911 to say a woman was in severe distress outside the hotel. Victoria police arrived, took Philipoff's name, and spent 45 minutes speaking with her. Deciding that she was not a threat to herself or anyone else, they released her. Until a report surfaced in June 2018, no one reported seeing Emma since 8 p.m. that night. Later that evening, police met Philipoff's mother at Sandy Merriman House. By midnight Emma was classified as a missing person. Post-disappearance initially the police stated that Philipoff had last been seen with friends several blocks away on Burdett Avenue between Blanchard and Quadra Streets. Investigators explored more than 200 leads, turning up minimal information. Most evidence indicates she was planning to return home to Ottawa, but there was no proof that she ever left Victoria. The cell phone she bought had never been activated. Philipoff's credit card was allegedly found on the side of the road near the Juan de Fuca Community Center, north of where she disappeared. It was found by a stranger, whose use of the card to purchase cigarettes was tracked by police. 
Emma Philippoff's writings Philippoff wrote copious poems about her time in Victoria. None of it indicated that she was being stalked. Even though some of it indicated she was depressed, experts who appeared on the Fifth Estate said the writing did not have the hallmarks of suicidal ideation. According to Philippoff's mother, however, the Sandy Merriman staff claimed that Emma required both physical and medical intervention. Unrelated charges against mother and brother in March 2016, Philippoff's mother and brother were charged with money laundering, as well as drug and weapons offenses, after an OPP investigation. Shelley Philippoff insisted the charges had nothing to do with the disappearance of Emma, saying, the one has nothing to do with the other. In November 2016, all charges were dropped against Shelley Philippoff, clearing her of any involvement. November 29th sighting, other possible leads in the summer of 2018, a witness named William came forward with new information about encountering the woman the morning after Philippoff's disappearance. The woman matched her general description and demeanor. The report resulted in the organization of a search of the View Royal area of Victoria in December 2018. The search turned up no additional clues, but another search is planned for 2019. Victoria Media drew information from Kimberly Bordage's podcast, The Search for Emma Philippoff. Before this, the leads had been tenuous. The Campbell River Courier Islander newspaper reported in May 2014 that Gaston, Vancouver, business owners Joel and Lori Sellen witnessed a man in their store throwing out a $25,000 missing persons reward poster for Philippoff. The pair reported that the man said, it's one of those missing persons posters, except she's not missing, she's my girlfriend and she ran away, cause she hates her parents. The owners immediately called the police. Although security video captured an image of the man, he has yet to be identified. Media coverage Emma's disappearance has received extensive print web coverage both in Canada and abroad. In 2013, Philippoff's disappearance was the subject of an episode of the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation television program, The Fifth Estate titled, Finding Emma.In 2017, her case was profiled on the podcast The Vanished.In 2020, Emma Philippoff's disappearance was the subject of a long-form series by the Canadian audio documentary series The Nighttime Podcast titled, Emma Philippoff is Missing. This series features interviews with Emma's mother Shelley, many of her closest friends, and the one-time suspect Julian. This series was the featured podcast on Apple Podcasts for the week of January 12, 2020 and appeared in the top 10 of Canada's podcast charts for several days. See also list of people who disappeared. References External links Detailed timeline of last sightings Find Emma Philippoff's Facebook page The search for Emma Philippoff with Kimberly Bordage